Kids Row. <laughs> I'm starting off with a shakshuka and they have some khala and a little salad and this is the vibe. I'm usually not really a shakshuka eater but I thought what better to try in this cafe and I didn't want to eat too much bread and it's like a great Israeli breakfast to try for you guys so I'm gonna have this and I wanted something kind of light but fulfilling to, for the rest of my exploring day so let's try it out. Okay, it's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> Broke my tongue. Great start to my sightseeing. Okay, by the way, I'm obsessed with Hala, so... Personally, the yolk is a bit hard cooked for me, but I think, oh, this one's good. Look how cute. This is the cafe on the inside. Even the bathroom is kind of like creepy cute. By the way, this is my outfit today. A little brown beaded top and some shorts. So that was Cafe Alma. I actually really enjoyed my breakfast, but it's so filling. Like, I, the portion was quite nice size. And I enjoyed the little salad on the side and it's super cute vibes also, it's really big so I definitely recommend coming here like whether you're sitting by yourself you can also work inside or they have a hotel upstairs too. And that's that, so now we're off to our second stop on our Yafo tour and that's the flea market. Their uh, flea market is actually quite famous here um, and in Hebrew it's the Hapish Pishim Shuk. Don't <laughs> come at me if I pronounce that wrong uh, but yeah literally also just flee so let's go explore I think this is literally the epitome of the flea market the shuk <laughs> Anyone want some cutlery, a typewriter, a shopping cart? What the? I honestly have no idea how anyone finds anything here. You know, people are so good at um, like finds and flea markets and everything but this is like next level and everything is just thrown on top of each other like how are you supposed to find anything i actually love watching those programs when they like open up something and they like find all this stuff and like they build look at that it's literally a pile so high and it's just never ending honestly i'm a bit scared to go in there just because i'm like i have such a rodent phobia um <laughs> but there's just so much here like some skates, rollerblades, sorry. I kind of want to go there, I'm just so scared. And an old surfboard. Wow, this place is like super incredible. I wish I was someone that was like a really good hunter for things. There's a furniture store here. Wow, they also have like a never ending backyard. I'm not a flea market connoisseur and this is the first flea market I've actually been to but I think this is already next level and I've just started. He wants to be in it. Shalom! <laughs> okay. 
Right, so here's a, some bars. Oh my god, I found all these Levi's shorts. So cool. Denim jackets. The only problem is I actually would look for denim shorts right now, but they're impossible like to fit me, so I'd have to try it on and it's just a schlep. Two minutes walk from the flea market area there's loads of bars and I've actually walked here during the evening like especially Thursday night it is heaving if you want to get a table good luck get there a bit earlier because people come with like big groups of friends and everyone's sitting there drinking socializing and it's really like packed all these side streets so that was a tiny bit of so much to see at the flea market, there's just never ending. I think you need to go in there with a goal or in there with an open mind and just buy whatever you like. But there's just a lot of jewelry, a lot, a lot, a lot of denim. Um, so if you're looking for new jeans or shorts or anything, and then loads of like trinkety things and of course like household stuff. Um, but my only goal was to find a cowboy hat which I did not find, but I also didn't look maybe as long as I should have or could have. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just gonna tour, walk around a bit, um, and there seems to be a lot of like machinery for sale. So I'm walking towards the clock tower now, which is the center of the Yafu old town. <laughs> So here is a mosque. In Yaffa there's actually churches, synagogues and mosques and I'm going to bring you to some church later. perfumes and soaps not tested on animals and it's a very traditional like perfumery and from 1905 I think the bottles are super cool like very hipster um, all handwritten there's also many carpet shops and then there's more like modern shops and not antique shops around as well. Look at all these random carpets on the street. If you want to buy a frame. Here's another street of the market. This flea market just seems never ending. It's like all the streets around. Just put in Google Maps flea market and then you'll see it. Here is the logo for it by the way. It says Yaffa Flea Market and then if you can tell the insect is actually a flea. Cool. You could literally wander around here for ages 
There's normal stores amongst everything. It just seems like the flea market is never ending. Yaffa Kanafa. I'm gonna get some kanafa later. Um, and here is actually Dr. Shakshuka. I have heard from locals though that it's not actually the best shakshuka in town. Um, so you can try some places, uh, some other places, and let me know in the comment section what you like shakshuka wise. Now we're coming up to the clock tower, which dates back to the Ottoman Empire. This is kind of the center point of um, Yafo. Oh, he was about to drive over me. Okay, as you can see, the clock tower is behind me, but before we go to the clock tower, I'm going to show you Abu Lafia Bakery. Abu Lafia Bakery is... Welcome to Israel. <laughs> And it becomes a competition. Seriously, there's literally nothing going on. So Abu Lafia Bakery is one of the oldest in Israel and it's open 24 hours a day. So the other night after we went out, we just walked over here and then like there's literally loads of people at 2 a.m. or whatever time you leave um, your party at and everyone's lining up to get their bagels or pretzels or you see like the za'atar bread. There's pizzas. Apparently the pizzas are quite good. This place is also open. I'm not sure 24 hours, but it was open at like 2 a.m. So if you want it here after a night out, come here or just like a midnight snack. And what I had was the toasty. So ask for like a toast and then you come here and they make everything. Um, they put them into their wood ovens. And look how nice, they literally have everything. And it smells so good. Halva, really yum. But basically I got one of these and they get a bagel and they put like whatever toppings you want. They put it in the toasty machine and it was delish. So yeah, that's Abu Lafia, highly recommend. And let's keep going. didn't know so it's now part of Tel Aviv and if you want to go it's super easy to go between so if you don't drive you can get like a little scooter step whatever you want to call them and you just, you just follow the road and then you're by the beach and then you just follow the beach because the beach is right in there and those are like the hotels and stuff in Tel Aviv that are by the beach so look at this clock tower This is the Setai, a really nice hotel. And here's some random columns. So these random columns was part of the Turkish governor's house. So it was the Turkish government building back in 1897. So this is what's left of it. It's really well kept. I've just been strolling around. There's so many little boutiques and restaurants that are like nice vibes, cozy, a bit more like upmarket or casual, and I'm really enjoying myself. And now I'm coming to. Now I'm getting to the famous uh, suspended orange tree. Look at that. I think it's part of the art as well. It's like chairs coming out of a window onto a roof. Okay, I'm using these guys as reference, but look. So here it is. Famous because it looks like it's floating. Like, look, it looks like there's a tree floating in the background. It still produces fruits. Unfortunately, there's no oranges on it right now. 
um, probably everyone <laughs> picks them or they fall off I'm not really sure but it was it's hung by these wires and it's in an earthware um, thing look and it's watered through a drip system so it's like a tree coming out of a crack out of its confines you can read up about it but it's pretty awesome and then I think they added some other like more modern art over there with these like chairs coming out of the uh, window onto the roof I don't know the significance I don't know the significance of them, but this is a really pretty place. And look, this is what I mean by how I was like just enjoying walking around. Everywhere it's like cobblestone, little streets and paths and archways, and you can just get lost exploring. It's so pretty and quaint. Bye bye aesthetic orange tree. Now we're walking by the outdoor gallery in the old Yaffa um, ways and this is open 24 hours so the gate doesn't actually close and look, they have art hanging on the wall oh my god <laughs> here are the trees we saw oh, I mean sorry the chairs that's so random <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I also think like no matter how long, wow. this is so pretty. Did you hear those like American girls? They were like, wow, they literally just stopped. They're like, this is the, literally the most gorgeous thing. This is so pretty. It's literally, it's so quiet, so clean. There's these little art galleries here. There's like a watch shop. I feel like I'm walking through the cobblestone streets of like Italy or the south of France or something, but just prettier because there's nobody here and it's so cute. Look how nice these street signs are. So it really must be like a whole artist quarter because here you see there's silk screens. Here there's some other studio. There's the art running along. Another exhibition going on in here. Just stumbled across this other little hidden alley because there was a cute cat and then I found out there's another little workshop area and some paintings you could literally spend the whole day just walking around and exploring if you love art if you love flea markets if you love little trinket shops um, there was like a Yemenite art thing there, loads of jewelry things, everything. And now we're at the sea. So away from those little galleys, I, there was that like nice big steps and then I saw the sign of the house for Simon the Tanner. For those of you who don't know, Simon, uh, the house of Simon the Tanner is an important reference in Christianity or where it began. So here we go. It's so like secluded you wouldn't even realize it's really um, just in a random little alleyway. You have to go down some steps and then there's a sign. So here you go, House of Simon the Tanner. And now it's locked off so nobody can come in. But we have some history, various Christian traditions tell story. I'm not quite sure if it would be busier um, on the weekends, I presume so, um, but now is holiday time anyways, and it is a Monday afternoon, so I probably, it is the best time to come and avoid the weekends, but it seems like it's just a quiet area all around. So you could really get lost here. Yaffa is also 
part of Greek mythology. So here we have Andromeda's rock. And you can pause to read about Yaffa port, which like I said is one of the oldest ports in the world and is also the oldest still being used. tour and I'm parched so let's go stop somewhere off and have a drink here's the church and we're walking into Hapisga garden where we'll find the wishing bridge so I read about the wishing bridge, apparently it's linked to your zodiac sign. Here we go. I am so tired. It is so hot. Wow, look at the view. You can see Tel Aviv in the distance. Oh, how I want to go swimming. So here we see the zodiac signs. And then it tells you an ancient legend holds that anyone boarding the bridge holds its zodiac sign and looks at the sea. Their wish will come true. But where's my, okay, so the zodiac signs are on the bridge. Oh, first one, Pisces, that's me. Unfortunately, the trees are kind of blocking my view, but let's make a wish. I'm incredibly parched so I just came down through some alleyways down to the seaside and I'm at this place called Sylvia Cafe. Um, I read it on a blogger that I really like on one of her blogs. So here you get the view of Tel Aviv and I'm just gonna sit here. It looks super cute. or Greece or something like that where you're just sitting looking out at the sea there's Tel Aviv there Yafu is behind us and it's really peaceful and it's great that they have like shade so you're literally just sitting here I got a pomegranate lemonade and it's so bloody refreshing it's exactly what I needed also they give you water everywhere for free so that's great I'm just gonna upload some of my stories to give an update of my little book tour and I can put them in my highlights so if you're not following me go check my insta ad for like a step by step and yeah I'm just gonna chill and then we're going for an ice cream stop so stay tuned little fish and chips place called fish and chips and it's right by the port there but I, while I was going to stop it was on my itinerary I'm not gonna stop anymore because I'm actually gonna go get some baklava ice cream so yeah I'll do that instead at the famous Yapa Knafa and then I'm gonna go out for a nice dinner as well so I'm trying to save some room I'm actually still quite full from the shakshuka I mean, I am getting a bit peckish, not gonna lie, but I only ate it about like two hours ago. 
Okay, we're here at Yaffa Kanafe and we're getting the so we had this kanafe the other day the four of us shared it it was okay but it's honestly better to get a small one um we had it to take away because they deliver as well but but when you deliver it or take away we've had like in from our experience many times <laughs> getting it to take away it's just not as great as when you sit down and they do it on the spot in the metal things because then it's warm and it has the whole like cheese full um, but today I'm gonna try this one, which is the baklava, and I'm gonna get ice cream in the middle because I've never had it. And they're famous, they have two places here in Yafo, right? <laughs> first time trying it so you still you just have it and then they put this like pistachio and ordinary yogurt and then they top it off with pistachio crumbs so cool. <laughs> I definitely prefer the canafe just because it's like the crispy stringy bit then there's that like cheese pull thing but it doesn't taste cheesy at all that's why i was scared to try it until last year just because it's like a cheese dessert but doesn't taste cheesy and then there's the ice cream melting on top i love the pistachio this is nice though because it's like more ice cream than dessert even though ice cream is dessert. anyways i'm just rambling but look how good Hope you enjoyed the sightseeing vlog and don't forget to press that subscribe button for more Tel Aviv vlogs. See you next week!